Hello guys, this is Sammy from HackerBad.net and welcome to another tutorial today on how to hack flash games. Any flash game that you might come across on the huge big interwebs. Like this one, this is Plague Wars. This is a game where viruses plague each other. It's weird, we're gonna hack it. Now in order to understand how this works, you need some basic concepts and I'm just gonna explain real quick. So a game is made up of a lot of numbers and they are stored on your computer. Okay, For example, your money is a number or in this game um, your plague-ishness I think is a number. As you can see this is my plague number. This is a number as well. Now in order to cheat all we have to do basically on the very basic level is change these numbers. If I have a lot of plague-ishness, I'm gonna win this match, and that's good. So let's do that. Now in order to change these values, we're going to need a special software. We're gonna use Cheat Engine. This is the most popular cheat program for PC games, basically. And it also works for Flash games, which is awesome, because we're gonna hack Flash games, obviously. So I would suggest you get it. It's in the link at a link in description, so you can install it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so once you have Cheat Engine installed and you got your game that you want to hack, basically all you need to do is you need to attach Cheat Engine to the game. Okay. Now, flash games being what they are, they have to be opened in a browser. That means the process or the program that we're going to attach Cheat Engine to is our browser okay now all browsers will work no exceptions but chrome will be a bit, little bit harder for reasons that you will see later i'm using cheat engine uh, i'm actually using internet explorer rather uh, not because i think internet explorer is awesome but because it's the easiest one to hack so let's go so you got cheat engine open your game now all you do is you click the little PC icon select the process to open let's click that and here you have all the processes running on your PC at the moment you're gonna look for the browser that you have the flash game open in in my case that would be Internet Explorer.exe okay now if you're using Chrome for example you, you will recognize that there are a lot more processes okay now the problem is only one of these is going to work. In my case there are two. Um, in the case of Chrome there are like six or something. Now the problem is the only way to find out which one is the one that is actually running your game is by process of elimination. So you test one, uh, you see whether that's the right one and if it's not you move on to the next one which is why Chrome is really tedious to hack. Okay. Just, I'm just going to demonstrate. Now I'm choosing one of these two and in order to find out whether I got the right one we're going to do the following. We're going into the game, we're enabling a speed hack in Cheat Engine, enable speed hack, set it to zero and apply. And if everything freezes, as you can see all the numbers are frozen, uh, that means that it worked. Okay, That means we have the right process attached to Cheat Engine. Okay. Now, if you got the wrong one, if your speed hack doesn't work, then you just move on to the next process until you find the right one. And it's always a browser process, except with Firefox, where it is a flash process sometimes, I think, or at least it used to be that way. So I'm confident you will be able to figure that one out. Once the speed hack right here works, if you set it to zero, that means you're freezing the game and you apply it then you have found the right process. Now what you do now is you change the numbers. How do we do that? Well, Cheat Engine allows us to scan for values in the process and then change them basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the value of this infection bubble right here which is at 45 at the moment, so I'm going to type in 45 in the value section. I'm going to cite, uh, I'm going to change the value type to all, okay? That's important. Um, the most common one is 4 bytes, um, but if you scan for all, you're sure to find the right 
one, okay? You can experiment around with this, but I'm going for all because that scans for all value types. First scan. Okay, now we got 600,000 values. Obviously, we cannot change all of these values because that will probably crash the browser. So what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate some of these values by changing this value in the game and scanning again among these values. Okay, it's very logical. It might not sound like it, but it is. So let's change the value. Enable the speed tag again, freeze again. Um, as I've said, enabling the speed tag, setting it to zero and applying is basically just freezing the game, which means freezing the values as well. It's a very useful technique as well. Okay, now the value of this bubble is at 29, so we're going to type in 29, and we're going for next scan, which will scan the previous 600,000 values for a value that has changed from 45 to 29 which leaves us with 22. Now we could change all 22 of those, but I would like to narrow it down a little bit more. So we're just going to repeat, repeat the process. And we're going to enable the speed tag again, and it's frozen. And now the value is at 36. So we're going to type in 36 and next scan. Now you are left with one single value. Now this is not always the case. I'm just going to delete that again. Um, this is not always the case. Sometimes there are multiple values that correspond to a in-game value, uh, money values, health values, whatever, ammo values. Sometimes there are multiple ones. In an ideal case, there is only one, but there are cases where there are multiple ones, but it works exactly the same. So basically what you do is you either double click the value or values, or you just mark them and press the red arrow. Now it is in our little list right here and basically what this list allows us to do is to change the value. Now this is exactly what I'm going to do. Double click the value or right click and change record value. And then you can type in whatever you want the value to go to. Okay, I'm going to go with 900 for now. I'm going to unfreeze the game and as you can see the bubble becomes really huge and now I can eat my enemy. I'm gonna speed hack again and I'm gonna change it to 200 again. Now another thing you can do is you can freeze the value, okay? That means it cannot be changed anymore. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna unfreeze and as you can see I now got unlimited infection. I can basically now just take over the game very easily because I got unlimited uh, yeah, unlimited infection, as you can see quite clearly here, and I can just blow up all these bubbles. And now I'm going to eliminate my enemy, um, just real quick. <laughs> Actually, it's not that quick. I, 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 have to, I have to do it a little bit too much. But yeah, that's basically how it works. Um, that's how you get unlimited money in basically every game that's out there, um, and quite easily as well, as you can clearly see. And that works for most Flash games. I'm just going to end this just for fun. Come on, I want to win. Unlimited infection. How good that sounds. And I won, yeah, that's cool. Okay, now there are certain Flash games where that isn't as easy, okay? For example, certain Flash games will not actually go with the value that's showing but they'll multiply it by eight or they'll do some other weird encryptions. In those cases, just look for any kind of value that you can hack, okay? Um, try to hack stats, try to hack levels, try to hack anything, 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 upgrade uh, levels, anything, any number that you see or deduce from the game, try to hack it. Use speed hacks if it's a game that relies on you being fast, use the speed hack, set it to 0.0, which which is basically half speed. That gives you um, basically a time slowing power, which is quite awesome as well. As you can see, I'm able to win this uh, battle just by using a time hack, essentially. Um, just by slowing down time and having um, a lot more reaction time that way. 
and therefore a lot more time to infect all these things um, while the AI is a lot slower for example uh, or I can just set it to zero and now it's frozen so basically how the speed act works as you've probably already noticed is any number below one will slow the day slow the game down so um, open 5 is half speed, open 2 is a fifth of the normal speed any number above 1 will speed the game up which is unlikely that you're going to want to use that but in certain games it's useful nonetheless so 2 would be um, double speed and 5 would be 5 times speed and 10 would be 10 times speed and so on <coughs> that's also a very useful technique um, as I've already said when it comes to value types, most games will use 4-bit values, um, but there are ones, the ones and the others that use floats or doubles, uh, which is why in most Flash games, since they are pretty small and do, n do not have as many values as PC games, you know, real PC games, um, I'm using all values a lot. And that's really the safest way to really go uh, the surefire way of finding values <clears throat> so I hope this wasn't too much information in too short a time um, if you haven't been able to keep up then just pause the video uh, go back have listen to me as I ramble on it's it's a really complex subject and it isn't really something that's easy for someone with no PC experience whatsoever but I'm very confident that if you do want to learn this and do want to hack your favorite Flash games, just watch this video two or three times and you'll get it, okay? Thanks you guys for watching. As I've said, you will find the download link for Cheat Engine in the description below. And yeah, I hope this has helped you and I'll see you guys soon. And goodbye.